Nadine Samara and I'm at the NIH at the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases. So we provide images so that people know how to design uh, uh, drugs or inhibitors for proteins that are involved in disease. So I uh, actually grew up in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and that's where I went to junior high school. I then went to high school in Lebanon in the Middle East, and I also went to college in Lebanon. I took a lot of different classes, economics, chemistry, sociology. I had a lot of interests. I, uh, um, I still do, I'm still very much that kind of person. So I persevered and I finished my degree. And afterwards I went to grad school and I started off with a degree in chemistry. As I went along, I realized it wasn't for me and I started going to seminars in structural biology. And that's what I do now. So I'm a, a, a structural biologist. Basically, I fell in love. And I thought that, you know, this was perfect for me. So my goal in lab, so my goal in the work that I do is to try to take pictures, take photographs, or, you know, on an atomic resolution of proteins and DNA. So my day-to-day -day revolves around getting that protein and DNA. And what I do is um, I make these um, proteins and DNA in the lab. And I use a lot of different methods to get that protein um, and DNA. And then what I do after that is I take the protein and DNA and I make crystals out of them. So just kind of like diamonds. <laughs> and um, I take those protein and DNA crystals and I shoot x-rays at them. And from the data that I get, I obtain atomic resolution images. So basically, just pictures, but at very, very high resolution. And I get to see where all the atoms and the D uh, DNA and the protein are um, in those images. People can use those images to design drugs and inhibitors of those proteins um, that can be used uh, in clinical trials or um, to try to see if they can inhibit those proteins that are involved in particular diseases. So on a day-to-day -day basis, we make protein, and we make that protein from DNA. And what we do is then we take that protein and manipulate it so that we can get a picture of that protein. And that picture is essentially at atomic resolution, so we can know where all the atoms in the protein are positioned. So these are crystal trays right here. That's where we grow our crystals. Looking for crystals um, to see if any of the conditions that I've created will yield um, protein crystals. So, and these crystals are often quite beautiful. Um, not always, but quite often, and it's quite exciting to see them. This is what we call electron density. So it's sort of telling you where the electrons are. That, that gives you an idea of where the atoms are positioned. And based on the blue, which is the electron density, we can tell which amino acid is sitting right here in the protein. I have a very good relationship with all of my colleagues. We talk very often. We collaborate on projects. And it's actually a very collegial environment. It's definitely not lonely. Uh, you know, there's opportunity for lunch breaks, coffee breaks. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I advise all, um, all young people in college to, to really think about what they really enjoy doing more than anything else. But just keep in mind, always, always, always remember that from everything that goes wrong, you will learn something. And the more you learn, the better you will be in the future at what you do. Thank you.